Hi, in this video I will talk about uh, smart TV functionalities you can find in TCL TV sets in 2022 product range. In TCL TV sets we use uh, uh, Android TV and uh, Google TV, so in entry products uh, 32, 40 inch you have Android TV in two versions, uh, standard Android TV and then uh, Discover Tab Android TV in Western Europe. However, in UHD products we come with Google TV, this is uh, full Google TV uh, implementation and uh, then uh, this is how it looks like in Central Europe where Google TV experience is a bit uh, limited. So uh, what kind of functionalities are in Google TV you see here? We have uh, so-called full Google TV, Google TV light and basic. Between full and light there are slight differences, uh, however uh, basic you see is uh, not having uh, all this content uh, introductions, is not having the background and uh, a lot of recommendations, but we believe it is a matter of time Google will be able to provide these uh, functionalities uh, to Central European countries. In TCL we don't have only Google TV and Android TV, but for UK and Germany we have also Roku TV and Fire TV. You see that uh, in terms of functionalities, uh, operating system is uh, different, a uh, different uh, company develops it, but in terms of content and functionalities it is very comparable, so it is, it is matter how people uh, perceive it and uh, what kind of functionality they look on. Here you can compare by yourself Google TV together with Roku TV and with Fire TV. You see that Roku TV is uh, focused on content but is uh, slightly uh, simplified way of controlling. Uh, then Fire TV is rather very similar to Google TV but it is not based on so-called Android CTS but it is based on Android ASOP solution and then uh, store is provided by here by Amazon. Then we can go deeper and also help you to understand the differences between Google TV, Samsung Tizen and the LG WebOS. You see that all these solutions are comparable. Personally we prefer Google TV in terms of uh, way of controlling as for Samsung there is very specific small remote control and for WebOS it is this Giro which uh, there are some people who like it and some people who are not convinced by it. Great content we talk uh, is uh, available and thanks to great content we have uh, this kind of uh, uh, performance focused TVs on the market. So you see Netflix, Prime, Apple, TV+, Plus, uh, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Sky Showtime, they all use Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos and as a standard format uh, to deliver uh, content uh, to your uh, TV sets. How this apps looks like uh, in Android and Google TV you see here. All apps are available and then all are quite similar, are focused on user experience and ability to recommend the content. But streaming content is one story, then you have also a lot of local content, lo content on your devices. So uh, many of you like uh, devices with uh, Apple from Apple, so this year we introduced Apple AirPlay 2 and uh, then our TV sets are fully compatible uh, with it. Then Chromecast uh, is uh, mostly uh, supported by devices uh, uh, from uh, Android uh, and then you can share your local content, you can also share applications. Miracast is the area of Windows PCs, you can just use Wi-Fi Direct and uh, send the screen to the TV set. And TCL Home and MultiView is another functionality you can use uh, to share content from your local device. So streaming, local content, uh, then let's talk about uh, smart home. Smart home is supported by on our side by TCL home application where you can find all TCL smart home applications like TV sets, soundbars, uh, IoT and also white goods and uh, AC. You have access from the TV set, you have access from mobile phone and uh, then we enter into the area of uh, the matter. 
So, before Matter, uh, our TV set have to be compatible with all three major ecosystems like uh, Amazon Alexa, like uh, HomeKit from Apple, like Google Home and then uh, drive uh, devices compatible uh, via this uh, cloud uh, solutions. With Matter, we solve the problem. There is no more uh, these three separate ecosystems. Everything is one and you set up, set up Matter devices. Soon uh, all our products will be compatible with Matter. Another area is uh, controlling, a new remote control you get uh, this year uh, in our TV sets. Uh, uh, this remote control comes with voice streaming so you can talk to it. Of course, in many cases you can also use TV to, as a hands-free. But uh, what is important uh, here are uh, new functionalities like quick settings. You see how this quick se settings has changed. Recent apps are also important because if you look, uh, use rec often your favorite apps, you can quickly find them here. Long press in TVs uh, where you have a game bar, you get a game bar on the screen. And then standard uh, functionality for home screen. But it's not only this remote control you can use to control your TV set. You can use standard, uh, this basic remote control with digital buttons. You can use also TCL home application, but also you can use iOS device. Most of you, most of you didn't know that it is possible via Apple AirPlay 2 to fully control the uh, TV set. Another important story which uh, we bring this year is our Google accounts and then profiles. Uh, so you can quickly switch to uh, different profiles. You, your kids can have own profile and then uh, there is no interaction uh, if kids uh, watch uh, different content. So then you don't see this content in your, in your recommendations. Another area is ambient mode. Many of you use Google Photos and uh, then you have a lot of pictures in Google Photos. If you properly configure it, uh, so then you can use TV set as your very large uh, photo frame and then really you can get uh, your memories on the screen.